You know how there is always something we would like to say to our past selves? And how we want to tell them, don't worry about this. It is very insignificant, actually. Well, today, I need my past self to tell me something, to teach me something. I need her help, and hopefully, it will help you too. When I was a kid, I always wanted to see snow. I always wanted to know how it felt, because I could just see it in movies. We don't have snow in this Chilean city where I live. And all I did was imagining what it would be like. Soft, light, maybe fluffy. <laughs> I was like four years old, okay? And I never saw snow. And I guess a small part of me assumed that I never would. That many things, like snow, were just meant to live on my mind. And I started dreaming, contemplating, questioning, wondering, but never really doing. Maybe because I didn't want to be disappointed if things were not as good as I imagined. And I grew up, always wondering and living on my mind. But one day, I had so many thoughts that they invaded my mind. My head couldn't rest with so many ideas, so many dreams. My mind wanted me to create something so bad to the point that I couldn't sleep. So one night, I just wrote an entire script, recorded and uploaded a video that same day. And it felt like it was enough for a while. Then my mind started creating again. So I had to listen to it. And I created again and again until I realized it was fun and I was more creative than I ever thought. And by doing just one thing, I ended up doing things I should have done long ago that I procrastinated, <laughs> that were too connected to reality, so they were not really my thing. I went to the dentist. I learned how to drive. I started talking to people in English, which is something I never did before. I just thought about it. I wrote a song. I had a trip, which was the best time of my life. <laughs> I even joined the gym. I became a completely different person just because I uploaded videos on YouTube. Because one thing is enough to tell yourself that you're enough, that you can do this. You don't need to do a bunch of things in one week. It is all about making a step and then you'll see where you go with that. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Protect yourself. You're supposed to feel safe in your own body. That's your ultimate comfort zone. I know it sounds weird, but all you need to do right now is one thing. And trust me, the rest will come. And it will be a little easier for you. You just have to trust yourself. Because those voices that say you can't do something are lying. It is a lie, I know. Because you can do anything. You can learn anything. Just give more importance to your heart. I know that sounds really hard, especially when our mind has been our compass so far. But just a bit of heart in the equation, and you'll end up in a moment, in a place that you never expected. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it comes as an inspiration or as a life hack. My past self really did a lot of things, and I'm glad I have her to show me with evidence what paths to take sometimes. You also have a past self who could tell you something you need to listen right now. After all, you have had an entire life to learn, and I already told you, you can do anything. So do it. Now. Just kidding. You can wait. Not too long though, life's kinda short. I don't mean to freak you out, just want to say that you can do something eventually, but sooner than later. I'm not pushing, the life's so short. <laughs> okay, I just ruined the vibe and the advice. <laughs> you can do it, I promise. Testing. Testing. Helping. You know how there is always something we would like to say to our past selves? <laughs> and 
I started dreaming, contemplating. <laughs> this is not like Mochi. This is Ghost, aka Kiwi. He has two names now. Because it's really hard for my family to say Ghost because we speak Spanish. So it's like, Ben para got Ghost. <laughs> You know, it's no. He decided to play. Now he decided to play with with his toys. He never does. I want to show you so bad what he's doing. I'm gonna record with my phone. So he has that entire thing, and he's in the most lame part <laughs> in the transition area. I'm a bit nervous to talk in front of the camera because I haven't done that in a while. I'm camera shy. Hmm. Hmm.